Hey eBayers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another episode. And I wanted to talk to you today about selling replacement buttons. You may have heard about doing this or seen others do it on the Money Making Monday thread, but sometimes you may see an item in a thrift store or at an estate sale and the actual garment is not great for selling but it could have some kind of embellishment on it either a crest or a replacement buttons that you could remove and sell for really good money so let me just show you some examples of what I'm talking about here and this can be another way to uh, make money with something that somebody's discarded um, you never know another eBay seller could have been in that thrift store right before you saw a really nice blazer but it had a hole in it had moth holes in it had a stain on it whatever and just passed it by and left it um, don't assume that everyone who's been there before you knows everything that you know or even wants to sell what you want to sell because we're all different and somebody's left behinds or leftovers could be exactly what you want to work with and you've heard me say it a lot but I like small things that are easy to ship that are high profit not breakable easy to deal with um, that's just where I'm going with my business the longer I do this the more I am refining exactly what I want out of it every year and um, <laughs> the other day I made the decision for 2018 that I'm just not gonna sell pants anymore I just don't enjoy that I don't really like photographing them um, I don't I can't really get them to look great in pictures as much as I can other things that I can put on a mannequin like a sweater or a blazer or a top or small items like coffee mugs or just uh, small interesting collectibles I just don't like working with pants and I don't want to do it anymore and I don't have to so I'm not gonna <laughs> So, um, but I do like buttons. I, I look for these. I've sold these over the years and sometimes they can take a little while to sell, but the right person comes along, will buy them. And if you haven't thought about it, replacement buttons can be used for all kind of things. Um, I know, have heard of people, bloggers even, that do fashion blogs and they will write out, admit that they'll go to Target and buy a you know decent blazer for twenty thirty dollars take the buttons off and put other buttons on it either that just look cool or are a designer brand like Ralph Lauren uh, Chanel Gucci Burberry Austin Reed any of those buttons that have the crest on them or are easily identifiable as a higher-end brand and these people will openly admit doing this and they don't care and so they, they might spend 50 bucks on the buttons but it makes it look like they're wearing a $400 $500 blazer so that's one use another use is uh, making jewelry and other items out of the buttons if we go over to Etsy here and we look at uh, button jewelry for example you can see that people make all kind of cool things out of buttons that they may not be designer brands it's just something look cool looks cool and they may take it off of an item they find in a thrift store uh, one product that's great for this is the Norwegian sweaters that have the pewter buttons with all the cool designs on them and the sweater may just be you know completely moth-eaten just not salvageable at all um, but you can take those buttons off and sell them to a crafter and this is the raw material they need to make beautiful items jewelry bracelets earrings or any other there's all kind of things people make with these buttons so if you're crafty like that I'm sure you'll have a lot of comments on other things people are doing with these buttons but that could be one use for them um, 
and then of course you know somebody may have a blazer missing a button that's and they may buy the whole set that they need but I think it's it's more along the lines of dressing up a basic lower quality blazer and making it look designer or using these buttons to make jewelry to either keep or resell so if we go over to eBay here I have uh, already done a search and we are in the crafts category under buttons and I have sorted out used condition and these are sold listings so the first listing here is Chanel logo replacement buttons these are just uh, basic gold buttons that have the Chanel logo on them and the seller here has also included the garment label in case somebody wants to put that inside their blazer and um, this lot of buttons sold for $75 so just think about this if you're at a thrift store you see a, a blazer even if it was 10 bucks which is high for thrift stores but uh, if it was Chanel you can take those buttons off and sell them you know for six seven eight times your investment and they're easy to ship and easy to store another great brand to look for is of course St. John if you're not familiar with this brand it is not St. John's Bay it's it's quite different this is a very high-end brand where suits can go for over two thousand dollars in new condition so here is a listing for st. John black and gold enamel crest buttons and you can see the seller has these all laid out here and also with the garment label and they have the uh, the buttons have the crest of the lion on them so beautiful set there and this sold for $72 and it looks like it was I don't see that it was an auction so apparently that was just a fixed price listing and then if we go down here's a brand called Holland and Sherry I am not familiar with that brand but now I am <laughs> and it has a sort of a triangular crest with lions on it and the buttons are gold with sort of an enamel center and this looks like it's a brand from England this lot of buttons sold for $59 and this was done on a fixed price listing so let's go over another one here see if there's anything else um, you can also uh, here's a good one Ralph Lauren I've done this before and see if it was it wasn't exactly these Ralph Lauren has so many different styles of buttons but uh, they're good sellers I had a set up for sale one time of the crested buttons that came off a blazer and I had also removed the garment label and um, the patch the crest that goes on the pocket and I had bought the blazer and it had underarm stains and I knew I wasn't going to sell it like that I was going to piece it out so to speak and a lady uh, customer messaged me and asked if I would sell the patch individually because she didn't need the buttons she just wanted the patch and she bought just the patch for $25 so I broke the, the pieces out into separate listings and somebody else bought the buttons eventually but um, she was very thankful to have found it I didn't ask her what she was doing with it but I didn't really care because I think the blazer cost me three dollars and I ended up making over 60 uh, selling the pieces individually so this is definitely something you can do a Tory Burch is another one that you will um, that you'll see the replacement buttons are sold separately and my daughter has actually done this one where she's cut the buttons off of different things and sold them like this on a button listing so this one went for $45 fixed price and it's a set of how many two, five buttons and then it looks like a collar from some type of, oh it's a waistband so she must have taken these off a pair of pants or something um, so $45 for some buttons um, 
Now one thing I wanted to show you here was that buttons can be listed either in the arts and crafts category or in the clothing category. So you want to look at both. I've had more success selling them in the clothing, excuse me, the arts and crafts category, but when you're doing your research, just be sure to look at both because you may find comps in both uh, both categories. Um, here's a set of UGG buttons that somebody took off of. I don't know what those comes came off. Oh, it says, I ruined my UGGs, but I saved the buttons. Great condition. So this is a smart person here. Um, she sold these for $29.99. Shipping was $11. Um, so basically $40 for six buttons and you know great idea she ruined her Uggs but she saved the buttons so that was smart and another thing you can do is just sell interesting looking buttons I've done that before where it's not even a a brand name I found a blazer one time with these really beautiful clustered pearl buttons they they looked like flowers they were just really interesting and unusual and the, the blazer was just kind of a crappy brand that I wasn't gonna sell but it was a dollar so I took the buttons off and I think I sold them for about $25 so it, they don't have to be name brand um, in fact if we just do another search for buttons and we go to the craft category see if I can find some interesting examples for you. I'm just going to put in some keywords and see what we get. So these are vintage Chanel flower buttons which you know that's not something everybody's going to find but you might come across them. Um, let me narrow this down to the United States only just to uh, just to narrow down the results a little bit. Um, but like here, here are some hand painted porcelain Limoges Dresden style buttons. And let's see if she says where it came from. Each button is hand painted with Dresden flowers on blue and gold gilding and lattice work. The weight and color of the porcelain denotes that they were made in Limoges. There is some wear to the gilding on one of the buttons in one area, but no cracks or repairs. So who knows where these came from, but they're beautiful hand-painted buttons, vintage for sure, and these two buttons sold for $42. So um, you might find something like that. You can always sell buttons in lots. That's a popular thing to do. Um, Let's change this keyword up here to something else. Um, nautical. That's something that is searched for a lot and sold, sells pretty well. Um, here's that Holland and Sherry brand again. Here's Republic of Texas Nautical Anchor Star Gold Brass Blazer Button Set of Eight. Oh, let me change this to sold items so we can get a better idea of what they're selling for. Here's a nautical anchor Ralph Lauren Peacoat button set $22. Here's another one gold button set 12 blazer jacket double breasted anchor nautical metal shank. So I'm just kind of poking around in here showing you what is um, what's out there. Let me do something here and see if we can find any buttons that are shaped like dogs. I've seen those before. <laughs> um, it's crazy what people will buy that have dogs on them. If it's breed specific especially, um, people will buy it. So here's one here. Six Southern Preppy Dog Head and Horseshoe Equestrian Buttons Labrador Fox Hunt. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, unique and unusual. So if you're out thrifting and you see this jacket with some crazy buttons on it that, wow, these are unusual, the jacket's not in great condition, but 
you see these unusual buttons, something like this could sell for 20 bucks. And how easy is that to do? So, you know, my method of eBay is to focus on the unusual. Keep your eyes open for stuff that you don't see every day. Um, you know, things with dogs and cats, people love that. Um, they love to have things that look like their pets, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, flags, let's see if we can find one with a flag. Flags, nautical, patriotic, Americana. Here's something with um, guitar. Guitar, wooden buttons, large, two holes, mixed patterns, England. So that's interesting. Let me go down to completed sold listings so we can see what actually sold. And let's look at USA only. So not any huge results with flags, but just something to look for. So you get the idea here um, as far as looking at an item, what can you salvage it for, what can you do with it besides its um, intended purpose. And you know, buttons, buttons are on everything, pants, jackets, coats, who knows. Um, so just keep your eyes and ears open for that. You might find some things that are interesting. And um, you know, of course, Chanel, St. John, Ralph Lauren, those are going to be the Holy Grail, Burberry. Those are going to be the ones that get you the most money. And you just never know what you're going to find. You know, the opportunity is there every single day when you're out looking for things. The opportunity is there. Things are in front of you that are worth money. You just have to learn how to recognize them. So sorry I rambled on. I hope this was helpful to some of you that haven't thought about the strategy before. And I would love to hear what you have sold. Uh, if you've sold buttons, if you look for anything specific uh, that you can share with the community here to help other sellers make more money on eBay. So thanks for watching and have a profitable day on eBay. Bye.